in. some familiar sound of your coming. For in the sun's rising, we might see more than the hope of a new day, and we might see you. The reality of your countenance, your blessed favor, streaking across the heavens towards us. This is hard. And here behold your love and see your joy in the eyes of one another your delightful presence with us. Let us pray together. We thank, thank you, you, dear God, God for the, the desire, desire we have for you to abide, abide in our hearts. hearts. Thanks for gathering us here. Thanks, Thanks for the gratitude surrounding and abounding in the delivered promise this day brings of your presence with us. This life with you, new each day, and everlasting through every tomorrow. All praise, praise to you, gracious, gracious Lord, we pray. We pray. Amen. Amen. Our Easter story this morning comes to us from Luke. And we're reading in chapter 4. On the first day of the week at early dawn during a snowstorm, <laughs> they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. And they are the women who had come with Jesus to Jerusalem. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and they bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again? Then the women remembered his words and turning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven disciples and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Johanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in, and he saw the linen cloths by themselves. And then he went home, amazed at what had happened. And together we'll listen to this story. Early dawn, after an honored and kept Sabbath's rest, this troop of women, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and others, came and found Christ's body missing from the open tomb. The women were perplexed. They didn't know what to do. In the hearing of those few words, remember what Jesus told you, their hope and purpose was restored. We come this early hour to be reminded, too, 
to find some understanding in the midst of uncertainty, to stand still, even if for a moment, in the midst of all our doing. Becoming the first light of a new day, not to see an empty tomb, but recognizing our lives are empty without Christ. We come to look within and hear again the assurance of his love for us. Spoken by the living Christ, the one who says, I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus come, come and fill our hearts anew. anew. Alleluia, Christ, Christ is risen, risen and alive in our hearts indeed. The peace of the risen Christ be with you. And greet one another and share that joy of standing here in the snow. <laughs> you are unique. Peace <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter, Joe. Oh, you're so warm. Am I really? Hey, to see you. Happy Easter. I'm good. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Joe. Okay, let's get going here. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Easter. Oh, yeah, I know! Okay! Okay! Okay, I'm freezing. <laughs> Okay, we are the hardy souls here. Yes. The wet and hardy souls. Barb and uh, Judy. Oh. Uh, Judy pick here. Judy's on it. Judy's on it. Okay. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we got a back page. You know, when I got up earlier this morning to feed the squirrels. Yeah, it was just starting. And the birds, there were birds, you know, singing. I said, oh good, at least we'll hear some bird song up there. Uh, they know. That's our moment of listening. We're going to sing together. Bob, you think we're going to get a note out of there for that? <laughs> We say this blessing together amongst us. God's love brings us, Christ's love keeps us, and the blessed Spirit abides in us and sends us out to love one another. Amen. Happy, happy Easter, friends. <laughs>